like they just you know to uh, the text italics right so that's what i'm saying this is our common discussions right so basically you will have the uh, all the formatting of the text element you can use the italic or you can use the emphasize both are same you can use the bold or you can use the strong both are same but only the these are the uh, you know other components which can be help you to formatting of the text we need, the, those are those will be covered on the formatting of the text whether you use the italic and use the emphasis emphasis only available on html5 onwards but the italic will be available from the html4 onwards yes you are correct okay yeah thank you no problem right so basically uh, you know bold and italic bold is a other option for to making the heading section on the html and the italic emphasis both are the same but if you go for the look for the emphasis emphasis uh, is in html4 which is not available it will be available only html5 because the formatting of elements which will have a bold italic underline from the html2 to html5 but the emphasis is only available on html5 onwards and other important thing we have the headers but the header having a specific size according to their uh, you know header 1 or header 2 but the bold is another option for defining the heading sections on the html's right the similar way strong also but most of the people this strong will be used as a semantic elements semantic elements in the sense we have html5 semantic elements where we have a article details headers menus you know main section so those kind of sections were segregated on html5 that i will bring it up in the next class so in such cases people will use the strong definition strong element but they won't use bold element okay so they will use the strong elements on the paragraphs okay but they can use the bold also which is a uh, similar kind of a element which make the same appearance of the text on the html file 